Mina-san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And today we are going to be unboxing a couple of perfect grades. Um, first off, the Wing Zero Custom from uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Endless Waltz. Yeah, you don't want to know how much we didn't pay for these. Uh, or if you do. I, so the reason why I got them is, is that they were 80% off. Um, so like, I got... 80% off Japan prices. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I literally got these, like, cheap as an MG. Like, this is literally cheaper than the Proto Zero um, MG right now. So I had to get it. Like, it was the last one. Look at all that angst. Yes. Lots of, lots of Hito Yui angst. Oh, the box right. is silver. Yeah, it is. And it's, it's weathered. Like, this is an old box um, that's been passed around from time to time, but it's also completely unbuilt, so... Um, you know, it's just a weathered box. I don't give a shit about that with the price I got this at. That was insane. Yep. All right. <coughs> you should kind of be a little bit mad at us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so first off, let's pop this boy open. Okay. First thing, of course, you see is these gigantic fucking wings. <laughs> you could put those on a little vest and Katie could wear those as wings. They're yeah, big. yeah. This is a big thing. Um... Huge runners. That's great. Um, and here we get... There's a lot of runners in PG. If you haven't done a PG before, they're very intense. They got a lot of pieces. Um, this is actually one of the first PGs. Um, one of the earlier ones. I think it was the third after the um, RX-78-2 and the Zaku, Sharzaku. So it's not going to be as clean as some of the later PGs. No, this is... Blast. Yeah, this is no unicorn, but it's it's a good kit. It's a really, really solid kit. Um, and you had this when you were in high school? Um, no, I was in... Uh, I was out of high school by then, I think. Um, it was it was mid-90s, but it was I was young. There's some fingers. Um... These are precast fingers. They'll bend, and the eyes—they're actually cast in such a way that they have the the clear part on there. Oh, neat! Yeah, and so you're gonna put foil behind it to make it nice and green. Um, and uh, this is like a gloss black for the frame pieces. Super shiny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is one of the ones where I'd like to see the skeleton. The skeleton exists, so you can. <coughs> Oh, the panel pieces off the skeleton. oh yeah 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 this has a full full frame um like no cut corners here um i've actually seen some really good ones where half of the frame was um exposed mm. and half of the armor was there it's really cool looking more wing pieces of course this one is going to be particularly massive looking. For those of you who haven't seen it before, it looks bigger than it is just because of the massive wingspan. Um, wing kits are actually smaller than Universal Century and other kits. Now, our flooring is like a yellowish brown, so that's making it look like the, this white is you know, like the RX-78 kind of green white almost. Yeah, yeah. But in fact, in, in actuality, this white is more like a blue-gray white. Yeah. <clears throat> We have more great frame pieces here. This is such a great glossy, like polished black look. And then we have our red pieces for the feet. And again, the feet are looking very orange here, but in actuality, they are not. They are very red, red. Yeah, they're very red. I, w I wouldn't, though, say that they are as red as like the amazing red warrior some of the modern ones the injection color isn't quite as nice but it's still pretty yeah. <coughs> this this kit definitely shows a little bit of age in its color um, there's nothing wrong with that though this is a classic for american audiences this is probably the first perfect grade that any of you ever saw <laughs> that's so beautiful the the basically this is the boning on the wing mm. well i'm sure they've seen the unicorn oh yeah yeah if you modern modern audiences yeah but like the, this was probably the first perfect grade that a lot of people saw oh, Just, I see what you're saying. it was it, it was one of the, i think it's the only one to ever see any sort of real release in the united states outside of import shops 
Um, there's your beam sabers, nice and big there. Now, is he on the same scale as the unicorn? Um, well, as, as I was saying, wing kits are a little bit smaller than Universal Century kits. He's the same scale. He's still 1 one sixtieth, but he's a lot smaller than it looks like already. Yeah, the um, the robots or the the mobile suits <laughs> in wing are smaller. So this is a navy. Yeah, a yeah. This is navy. the shoulders and stuff like that. And it's all a whole bunch of really big panels, which is nice. It actually makes it look very simple. And it probably is pretty simple. It's been a long time since I built it, so it's a hard time, a hard way to say. But there's definitely like maybe, maybe half the pieces that are in the unicorn. Oh my God. Uh, I would probably say like a third of the total pieces that are in the unicorn. Mm. Um, and here's our rifles, which are single pieces, like single frame piece here. Um, they're not very complicated. This is actually about on the um, the level of a modern MG. Now, is it assumed that you're going to paint this? Um, I don't know. I think it's assumed that most of the audience is going to do that. Although there is an, a variant of this that has a pearl finish that um, assumes that you don't. Yeah, and here's the other rifle. <coughs> okay, and like our helmet is all like one big piece there. Um, and there's Hito. That's pretty big. Yeah, he actually looks very generic. That doesn't act really look like him very much. <laughs> and then, oh, over here. What's that box? Ah, uh, that's wing pieces. I'll show you in a moment. They're, they're really cool. More big panels. Yep. Like, at very least, it assumes that you have to panel line it. Like, you yeah. really, really, really need to panel line this kit. I, I, I like the white gray. Yeah. Better than the white, yellow. I don't know how to describe the art to me as a very distinctive, not quite white color. And then these, this these is a different not quite are color. huge, very angular. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually going to be, whenever I finish this, I'm going to compare it to the, the RG. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, it's new and I think it'd be a good comparison. It's been so many years since I've done this kit, so I'm really excited to pull out another one. <coughs> we are getting over a cold. Yeah, sorry about that. It's cool. Yeah, this is this is very glossy. Like I I don't know if it shows over the camera, but yeah, it, it is very very glossy. And it does have this is the inside of the head, for example. Um, so this one is a hundred percent frame exposable. Um, you could actually take everything off of it just fine. You can battle damage it. Here's our poly caps. These actually look like MG poly caps. They do not look like really big. Like I I just got done with the PG Unicorn not too long ago, and these are kind of small, like yeah. comparatively. The unicorn, though, is a beast. It, it is enormous. Massive. And here's our chrome pieces. Wow. Yeah, these chrome pieces are basically like accents and stuff. Um, they're going to be like piping on the wings and stuff like that, or in a, like the ankles and things like that, um, to really give it just a nice little finish. Is that coating? Um, yeah. yeah, it is coating. This is actually the old style coating, where you got to be really super careful on the gates. Yeah. Um, because it'll chip off if you're not very careful. Yeah. But this is also like, I want to say that this is a 1995-ish kit. Like this is a very old kit. Mm. Who directed the new Star Wars movies? The new Star Wars movies? Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek, J.J. Abrams, right? Yeah, so that chrome you could get an Abrams lens flare off of. Yes, there yes. And here's our V-fan. Okay. Actually, that yellow kind of looks weak. It does. Yeah. It's a mustard yellow. Yeah, I think I, I think I need to paint that. Like I'm not sure, but yeah. and the green even um, is a little bit like it's it a little cloudy. smoky. Yeah. yeah. It, and this is what this is. This is not that it was cast that way. Mm -hmm. This is that Age. it's a 15 year old kit. Yeah. Um, this is very old, sure. um, but it's gonna be really worth it either way. Um, kind of makes me want to distress it or something. Mm. Okay, and then here's our materials box. Materials box. It says it right on the side. Yeah. Do not bend these wings. Okay, so we have a lot of connectors here. These are metal. Oh, wow. Um, and just FYI. I, I, they can't tell over the, the camera, but hold that with your other hand. Yeah, this is mega those are, heavy. Yeah, these are die cast. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they're, they're, they're die cast pieces. These are really hardcore. 
and these are to support the wings. Because um, the wings are big. Yeah, the wings are like <laughs> bitch and heavy. They are insane. Okay. And then we have here are wire pieces mm -hmm. and springs. Um, and then we have wire. And then here's our feathers, wow. which are actually cast with metal yeah. um, on the hinges. Yeah, and these are like rubber. Like, they're rubber with metal on the inside. But they do warn you, don't bend them. Yes, do not <laughs> do not bend them. They will not unbend. Mm. Um, they are hardcore. And here's the screws. This is going to take you a while. Oh yeah, this will take me way longer than even the unicorn, um, just because it's older engineering. There's nuts. More screws. We have more screws and more wire pieces here for stability. Metal pins, rods. And there we go. That's, um, that's the basics. Let me pull out this box here. So first off, this is like art guide. This is them showing off what they've done. Um, and, you know, more power to them. They did amazing stuff. This is actually a, a huge breakdown of the, the um, story elements of it. Um, like it explains the system on the inside and stuff like that. <laughs> so this is a really great like engineering guide. I, if... I used to have something very similar to this for the Enterprise. <laughs> Yeah, so this is showcasing all the really great stuff. It There's gives us our yeah our colors and everything like that. Skeleton. Yeah, that's the full frame. <laughs> it's a little weird with the feet, but you know we're not gonna judge. It does, it does. It's like and wearing then, black socks and being naked. The actual manual, yeah, this is not as complicated as the the unicorn, just in a complexity level. Um, there's yes, nowhere near as many parts, but there's going to be a lot of screwing things in and stuff like that. Um, and there's a lot of springs and stuff, so. Yeah. Oh, also batteries. I forgot. This one does have lights. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take some LR43 batteries. Cool. Yeah. And that's going to be the... Um, <laughs> we need a new nightlight. So. Yeah. This looks like... Oh, God. What is that? Is that the, the chest or the head? It looks like the head because the eyes are glowing in the picture on the instruction manual. The other oh, one. are they? Oh, actually, it might be both. Um, I think oh, I think piece. the search eye and the eyes and the head are all going to be mm -hmm. lit up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Glowy things are cool. So I'll have to get some batteries before I put this one together. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. The whole wiring system is really cool. And while you work on this, I'm going to work on my first MG. Yeah, yeah, she's going to be doing our first MG, the uh, Exia Repair. So many curse words. Yeah, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say, the children build these things, because then I'll really taste myself. Yeah, Japanese children build these things. They, yeah. They're raised to do it. So, generational. <laughs> okay, so here is the PG uh, Wing Zero Custom. You'll never get it back in the box. Yeah, it doesn't go back in the box. It's, it's like cereal after you've taken out the prize. Um, it will not go perfectly in there. But it's actually a pretty good approximation. So I'll get this one together relatively soon. I don't know about this weekend because I'm probably going to work on the red frame. But there's the Wing Zero Custom. I am super excited to have this again. And matane. Matane.